Hello, and welcome to Arkrise Fantasia. Last two parts, so the last four videos, we have done some optional Rogress fights. And we're going to do another one. It's time to get we're spanked. Last one. Oh. <laughs> so this is the Lul. If you, if you remember, we've been here before. This is uh, the iceberg. And she I... totally doesn't look like Cosmos at all. It's the most humanoid looking rogers we've seen. She also has giant ice things that float and get in the way. It's her balls. Those sure are balls. definitely not balls. Those so are, no, I was Those are the balls of Knuckles. Okay. So I was checking there for a moment to see what uh uh ray stones appear cuz as I mentioned in the last uh, videos you if when you take her on you want to take her on when she has uh two earth um yeah two earth ray crisp ray stones not no you don't want any water ray stones out uh but she will use flawless protection which puts on a stop all but that's okay it's a one-time deal so, the second she gets hit, she'll, uh, start taking damage again. Oh, so, it's a really quick one-off that doesn't really mean anything. Well, it can mean stuff if, uh, you're doing stronger stuff. If you're doing stronger attacks. Mm. So, for the majority of this, uh, have someone with the spell. So, that's going to be uh, Rastin. Rastin has access to all magic up to level 3. Is all elemental types. <laughs> that, that little asterisk up to level 3. Sure. Well, uh, I didn't have enough. Uh, I didn't have uh, four extra. Or, I didn't have one of each uh, level 4. I, didn't, I don't have two of each level 4. So, I'm gonna actually use you know power one of the non-attacking ones. Yeah. So see when you do the power up thing, you're supposed to get super buff. No, she did like a Power Ranger esque pose. Or it might be because you know this isn't this is an altered beast. No, Cecile's a Power Ranger now. She's the she's the Poiple Ranger. Wait, what? I, I just do that as a joke. Why is everybody speaking like that now? <laughs> Your fault. I don't know, man. We'll finish them quickly. You all anyway, uh, Alul is she's ice type, obviously. Uh, she's has no weaknesses, but she resists water and earth. She has two hundred and seven thousand plus. Yep, two hundred seven. Some odd. You, you yeah. only did a few thousand or so far. Oh. And she is super effective to ice, ground, and dragon. And and, and grass. And no. uh, I think something oh, else. Wrong game. Oh, wrong game. Wrong game. Oh. Uh oh. She will use a uh, foresight wave, which increases her offensive stats. Ah, okay. Spell that, uh, as soon as you can. Like, it's nasty, uh, towards the end. Brand she has great. access to earth and water magic. And her two... Her main offensive cell act at this point is going to be her Frost Cross, um, which can throw on silence. And, uh, she's going to have another one later on. I don't know if we get to it in this video, or one of the... It's probably going to be in the next one, if it's not in this one. Uh, it's another ice... It's an other ice type. Her main warning attack at this point is Frostlock, uh, the level 4 ice magic spell. Big area effect thing. Uh, and then her next one would be an, ex is an actual Excel. She doesn't actually use her Logos, which is... Interesting. Yeah, no, she doesn't use it. That's weird. Uh, unless 
her like actual Excel act attack, uh, her actual Excel that she uses against you uh, is her Logos. I forget because it's been a while since I've actually used her, obviously. I mean, if it is, you could just like summon her at some point in the game just to show it off, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, she also has block defense, which means she's, like, dumb. <laughs> no, you're gonna... No, she's just dumb. Basically, she's got a terrible attack. By that, she should die. By that, you mean that it's, it's, it's a hard fight. Yeah, she p puts on just about any uh, status effect on you. Uh, she has... Add stun magic, she has add like boost magic, she has anti force. She's got just a lot of stuff that makes me sad. She can single sync her frost cross attack, so watch out for that. Uh, just heal and poker. Somehow I managed this fight. Um, I lost two times per four trying to do this. And I was just like, okay, this time, if I don't do it, I'm going to go do something else. Just so I can have something for this week. <laughs> and you ended up doing it somehow. Yeah. We'll see. Not without some issue. Obviously. I think this is the only Rogers that's really giving you any real trouble. That's because she's hard. She's got a lot of just stuff. And she's very powerful. Ah! You can't even explain it as anything else but stuff. Stuff. I don't, I don't know why, like, anytime there's, like, a really humanoid-looking, like, super powerful enemy, they tend to be, like, one of the hardest you have to fight. Stay on guard. Yeah. Honestly, because we're I think... humans and we have a superiority complex. I think she has a bit of, um... She's a lot harder than, I think, uh, the final boss. Like... The actual, like, final bosses, and, um, what is it, uh, the all-wise fight? It's called, uh, the super boss. boss. Yeah. All-wise, he's just long. Like, he's not necessarily hard. Okay. Well, one thing I definitely learned from at least action RPGs, if they have a humanoid form and they're a boss type, um, expect them to have attacks that are stupidly fast for some reason. I don't because know why. humans have super speed. Well, you'd think a bigger boss would be harder because they have more, like, way more reach. Which actually, nope. like, the humanoid characters because they, like, zip all over the place. Stay on guard. If it's an action RPG, they can also be harder to hit because they're, you know, human size. Or they have a smaller hitbox. Oh, um, bonus points if they can fucking fly. <laughs> bonus points? At this point, I thought it was mandatory. <laughs> uh, a lot of these, like, humanoid bosses, though, they either end up being some sort of super boss or just some extra boss that's just really difficult. A lot of this fight's gonna end up just being seeing her spinny ice thing right there. It's because it covers the screen. I know. <laughs> she doesn't She's move. Floating in place. Oh dear God, uh, Justin. Huh? She's a CPU. Oh God. Oh yeah, because she's got the shit, or the really unnecessary shit that just floats around her for some reason. Because Cause ice power is represented by things floating around you while you also float. Well, it, it's not just the ice, it's just the fact that it's just kind of there. I don't think they ever explain it if it's armor or something. Why, do, why would it be armor? It's just ice. Because she's ice type. No, I was, I was just talking about, um, I was going off what Cloud was saying. Oh. It's just like... I'm assuming they're like armor pieces, but they don't actually really do anything. I don't know. It's just like any other accessory in an RPG where it's like, this is a ring, and for whatever reason, it boosts your defense by a lot. Well, then. But it's a ring. Why would it do that? Shut up, it's an RPG. 
I have rings and Lexine's quest that boost your defense. <laughs> and attack. Well, imagine they swung a sword at you. You went to block it with your hand and it hit your ring finger. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it would just deflect it. Stay on guard. Good thing I was wearing a ring that day. Cecilia, you having fun back there? Yeah. She Look. likes feeling ice in her, clipping through her. <laughs> I like through her head too. Magic. Face me now. That's what that's what Jack said. Jack's a, Jack's watching or at, or at least like talking in our call, but he's he's out on a hotel vacation thing. Hotel vacation thing. Hotel vacation thing. Okay. Fine. He's staying in a hotel and he's on vacation. Oh. Good. You should heal up there, Lark. Lark. Lark is okay. Everybody's okay. For now. <laughs> when the first death happens, that's when shit hits the fan. Well, usually depending on how far gone everybody is, one death can completely fuck up the flow of the battle. That happens a lot in anime. Once the first person dies, the whole anime just goes downhill. I think it depends on what you're watching, whether yeah, or not you're like actually... Madoka Magica. Let's go. Um, that was... What's her name that died first, right? Face me now. Mommy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really care too much for her. I did. Guys, I can't say poop in Tomodachi life. You can't say poop. No! Poop. Well, that, that's probably because... But, you can tell a girl to get on her knees. It, it, I, if, if you want a little bit more explanation why I don't like mommy, um, I, I particularly you like don't. this. I don't particularly like the super goody goody characters, and that's exactly what she is. I, I kind of like Homer a more. I smell something fishy. You smell something fishy? Oh, I don't know. Frozen fish. I didn't. Really, I didn't. I was, really... cooking, I was cooking fish. I didn't really think ice really had much of a scent to it. Jack also would like to add that everybody likes Homura. Well, it's because she's the only real character. True. Like, well, uh, well, not just her, but she she definitely has the most character development. Raston, what are you looking at? You just. I, I guess what's her name has character development. I forgot her name, but she has blue hair. Uh, but uh, Homer definitely has the most. Saka has some character development. Well, yeah, but uh, she also isn't some goody goody that got turned into a, a sick, a, pretty much a psychotic nut job. So, this is the Frostlock thing I was talking about. Oh, ouch. Oh, they didn't really hurt too bad, I guess. Oh. It looked more painful than it was. It's just, it's an area effect, so it can affect, uh, that's why I spread everyone out. The other one, it doesn't matter, it's, uh, entire field. Hmm, that's something you could use in, like, these quests at some point, maybe, or maybe it's sequel or whatever, I don't know, whatever you feel like doing. Some sort of ice weapon. I totally forgot that ice can actually be pretty sharp. I have ice weapons. I have that ice lance. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, never mind. I, I was I was thinking of the sword. That's why I don't. I didn't remember. I'm ahead of you on this. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's not like you created the game or anything. No. Nah. <laughs> nah, man. Now nah, you know who's making it. Actually, is Ashlyn. Ashlyn's been making the game the whole uh time. I, I thought it was Tamps. I thought it was Tamps off. Tamps off's making Lexine's quest. Why not? If only it's a Senra and Kagura crossover. <laughs> well, what do you think I'll sell my soul for that. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear that Lexine. Do what for to be real, Super Sand. 
Well, re remember, Landon, don't you have that exclusive deal uh, for the KJ Papper to get an extra girl? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, see? Exclusive deal. <laughs> exclusive, you say? Mm-hmm. Exclusive to my KJ Papper. The KJ Papper is a special girl you can't get on the other systems. I feel as though they gave a lot of the late game bosses way too much HP in this game. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because you don't really have much HP to begin with, so they want to kind of like bounce it out by just giving it. I don't know. Like, I guess if everybody had this almost the same amount of health you did, the fights wouldn't last that long. I know, but no. What I mean, like, is like this. Like, all the bosses have about 30% more health than they need to have. Like, the, the rest of their health is just, like, damage sponge. You have, like, like this, like, the, okay, what, what can I, how much HP did that, uh, did, uh, uh, what the fuck was it? Kudon? Yeah, Kudon. Uh, 170 something, I think. Yeah, he, she could have had, like, a hundred and thirty thousand or a hundred and twenty thousand and it would have been just fine it still would have been just as challenging it just it would have wouldn't have been as drawn out like that's what i mean by the bosses in this game especially later on have too much hp well to me like just from what i've seen of this game and the way the combat flows um i don't think it's nearly as hard as some other jrpgs i'm not saying it's hard I'm just well, that's why, that's why I don't really mind out. the I don't really mind the uh, excess HP because they're not really that they're not that. Difficult. I don't know. I I just don't like sitting for extremely long extended periods of time on one boss fight that feels like it's only taking forever just because of their health and not because they're actually challenging. Hey, I was oh, playing. She ramps it up. She yeah. she ramps it up towards the end. Yeah. I was playing, uh, I was playing a boss in we'll finish them. Uh, the Dark Arisen stuff for Dragon's Dogma, and I was fighting him for two hours. So, she's nothing. I honestly could not tell you if I remember fighting any boss fight for more than an hour. Well, it's also an action RPG, so your aim is your own, it's not the game. <laughs> You have to actually be able to hit them, and on top of that, you also need to be able to get close enough to actually hit, like, uh, like attack them with your melee weapons, which isn't easy to do. Let's go. Also, if you're a pure magic user, have fun with that boss fight. No way, man. I'm an assassin. I just shoot my arrows everywhere. <laughs> Gotta look sharp here. I, I, I think I hit him with some of the most powerful stuff you can have, and it barely brought down a quarter of his soul. But I thought that's exactly how games should be played. By failing miserably. Now you're thinking of like the old 16 and 8-bit era where games were purposely that hard. That way you spent more money on them. Well, they did that mostly because of how arcades were the popular thing at the time, so you know, coin op, trying to get money. True, but I don't remember uh, some other games that are just like on the NES or the Genesis or something like that that were ever on an arcade machine. It's because they're short games, so if you ramp up the difficulty, it makes, a, it makes it so yeah. people have to play it longer in order to beat it. Or get used to it. <clears throat> I guess, but <laughs> that's what that's what makes it feel a little shallow, though. Like, um, I'm not saying they're bad games. It's just that when you play it years later and realize how easy it actually was, you just kind of sit back and go, wait a minute, I was that close to the end of the game? <laughs> yup. Because then you realize, holy shit, I almost beat this game. I thought this game was a lot longer than that. Considering the length of these boss fights, though, it would have been nice for each of the rogues to have, like, a slightly different theme to the backgrounds. So it's not just the exact same background all the time. You don't like... I'm sorry that I'm not busy staring at the background when I'm fighting this the entire time. You don't like ultimate cosmic power? 
No, I'm fine with it. It's just it would be nice to have like a slight alteration depending on which Rogris it is. You know, it would give like them a, a little bit more person. Planet exploding in the background. <laughs> yes. You just what you, you, <laughs> you <laughs> Jack was like, but Cloud, that requires budget. So what in the background you just see Gurren Logan happening? Uh, sure. For <laughs> for for this one only because. But, but for like something like Kudo, and it'd be like I don't know what what could we what 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 could we put in there? Just rings everywhere. Rings everywhere, yes. And Digimon. And Digimon. Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. You just see random Digimon flying through space. <laughs> no, like you just look at the oh. back. You look at the background, and it's like every final boss in every like video game ever just happening at once. I believe it. Like, no, no, Cecile. Wow, well, she got knocked back. <laughs> Shitstorm's gonna about to happen, I guess. Because now she's probably gonna go after the Lark. Yes, 20, 21 minutes in the first death has finally happened. She's looking right at Lark, so I know she... I got that feeling she's gonna go after him. She wants his booty. I was trying to decide if I wanted to uh, go with a... Uh, Lark, rest. run! She's cl yeah. you have her aggro. She likes some young. Oh, she's about to use one of her uh, big moves, I think. And um, I was going to, I was trying to get it so uh, Cecile would come up after. Yeah, it doesn't but work, that, does it? It, it? it it doesn't work. She's gonna die again. See, oh, so this is essentially wasted. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see what you're doing. You're trying to pace it so she does it first. Yeah. Unfortunately, the boss never goes when you actually want them to go. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's usually the case in video games. When you don't want them to use their super ultimate attack because you're not prepared, they use it. When you do want them to use it because it'll, you know, it'll prevent another character. Oh, no, wait, no. I was thinking of a different thing when I revived Lark, but... Yeah, no. It happens. Is this it's just logos? like, uh... This is her big attack? I don't know if it is her logos or not, but... That's her AoE attack. Yeah. Okay, uh, but, um... Yeah, <laughs> when you do when you do want the boss to use their ultimate attack because it's gonna kill one of your characters again, they decide they're not gonna do it. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was a different time, uh, when I just revived Lark, and oh. then she used her attack. Well, we'll see. And then he died. Was this an off-screen battle, or is this later to come? It, it, I forget, because, I, oh. like I said, I all, fought her twice. All, all, all of your attempts just kind of melded together. Yeah, it's just... Well, with this anything one in particular. Memorable. Yeah. Is it anything good? memorable just uh, rolled into one. Well, because the only thing you can remember is, I hate this boss. Okay? <laughs> Pretty much. I hate this boss, fuck a lul. That's all I remember. Is she, a, is she still class an optional boss, or is she actually a super boss? She's an optional boss. She's probably a super boss. Um, I can... I want to... I should probably, uh, check... Judging by the difficulty, was she intended to become... to come before or after the final boss? Um... I think there are some things that don't unlock until you beat the final boss. Uh, she's, you, cause you can take her on as soon as you, uh, beat the other two optional progress. Yeah. So technically, before. But is she, like, of a diff- it, does it say anything about, like, where it's, when it's recommended to face her? Um, the, like, the, the walkthrough I look at, it, uh, talks about doing her before, like, weaker than what I was. Alright, so... <laughs> This, th that kind of boss can't be a super boss, because a super boss is of a difficulty that assumes that you can already beat the game before you even take that on, so. This is just a and really tough boss fight. She, uh, she's of a lower level. She's two levels lower than the final boss, but she has more HP. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, well, most super bosses are supposed to make the final boss look like a joke. There are a bunch of super bosses that will open up. Um, oh God! And plural. I, 
Um, more than just the ones that appear in the All Wise Dungeon, um, and what they um, they uh, drop off the best weapon for each character. Is this game going to do that thing where you have to go back to some of the oldest locations in the game, and they're just like some impossible enemy there? Uh, yeah. So like, um, <laughs> one's in Jada, another one's in the Mandrel Oak. Mandrillo Coast. Yeah. Oh. Nab uh, Nabra. It's a jungle. Nabra. <laughs> We're going to go back to Sultan Cave. Uh, the Scarred. Convert. Uh, and there's actually one that appears in the Holy Land, Noir. Oh. No, it's because uh, there's actually a game I played where um, you actually have to go back to like one of the first starting areas you ever begin the game, and there's a fucking super boss there. <laughs> we'll finish them quickly. Surrounded by enemies that you could horribly spank, and then there's a fucking super boss. <laughs> That's actually where I got one of my rude awakenings. <laughs> Come on, Owl. She's almost halfway. Almost. Die faster. Oh, we still have two other videos. <laughs> yeah, and one of them I am looking forward to. Oh. Oh. 2002. What came out that year? Um. Uh, not Wind Waker. Not Wind Waker. <laughs> You're right. Jack knows. What do you know, Jack? Metroid Prime. Oh, never mind. It was a bad year. <laughs> <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> Eat shit, Jack. <laughs> well, Ratchet and Clank came out that year, the first one. Oh. Om nom nom. Mmm, delicious shit. <laughs> How convenient, I picked up horse shit, Dragon's Quest. <laughs> well. Yeah, that's an item. I'm surprised you didn't have anything like that in fucking Lexine's quest. Well, I had white powder. Oh, oh. You had cocaine. Oh, oh, video's done. Oh, well then, we will continue this in one of the uh, next videos, I guess. Just one of them. One or two.